All right, Ryan here, Silly Reviews. The purpose of this video, I'm gonna help you out. If you're using cPanel from your web host, would like to be more proficient with using the webmail services. Now, I'm on my desktop setup here, and I highly prefer, I highly prefer to use email options from cPanel than I do using uh, Mozilla Thunderbird or Outlook, any of those. Those applications are great, uh, but not really great. So I was lying right there. I find that Thunderbird, especially the most popular free option for email on your computer, on your desktop, it's painfully slow and it gets bloated really quickly. So let me, let me take it from the top here. Pay attention on the screen. If you go into your cPanel, if you go into your cPanel, go into your email accounts, I don't have to do this when I go to check my email on my desktop. I have a shortcut right up here for it, which is actually right there that automatically does that. I think when my cookie gets old, sometimes I have to log in. It's very rare. So this is what your cPanel may look like. Something similar depends on your on your theme. Let's just jump on into it. I use RoundCube. There are multiple options. What you can use is your email service. I prefer RoundCube. And for this to be efficient, there's a few things you need to do changing settings wise. And to finish things off, I'll go into how to make a, to make your email signature on round. It is my preferred, it is super fast, lightning fast. So in round cube, you'll go to your settings. Once you're in settings, in settings, click on composing messages, go to the when replying option. And then you want to make sure that it says start new message above quote. I believe the default was start new message below quote, which looked terrible. Then I switched it over to, and did some testing on do not quote the original message that that wasn't cutting the mustard so what you want to have set so your email looks normal like most people use gmail right so for your email to use look pretty normal uh, start new message above the quote it's great leave everything else at a default stay looking clean and professional so you hit save once you change that next thing you want to do go into your identity and see i'm ryan from silly reviews when you first get this going you won't have a display name so Make your display name. My display name comes up as Ryan from Silly Reviews. Exclamation point. So it's kind of yelling at you. It's like, oh, who's this email from? Ryan from Silly Reviews. So really gets the point across in the feel of what we have going on here. Next up, you can see here, I already have a, an HTML, a formatted email signature. I believe I still have that code in my clipboard right now. Let me go check. Okay, I went and checked. That code is in my clipboard. Easy enough. We'll clear this out. I'll start it from the top. I'll give you the boo bop. Go ahead. I saved that just now. Now it's blank. Here's how you do your email signature. If you have an HTML signature, you want to try to keep everything uniform between all the different apps you use, whether you're on mobile, tablet, laptop, desktop. You'd like to have that signature look the same everywhere you're sending it from. At least I do. So what you want to do is get that code from one of your other email apps maybe that you use like i took mine off my android phone copied it sent it to myself copied it now we're putting it in here so it's a little bit tricky because right here if i just wanted my signature to be thanks for supporting silly reviews right if we if we just wanted that that's great what happens when you click the the little picture icon here because strangely there's no check mark like there used to be for source or html what happens is you go into the picture mode switching editor may cause default well yeah okay now you can mark up and you know bold and different things like that different words underline them if you want to but that's not what you want to do so go ahead look up over here and you're going to find source code so it's two things you need to do to get into where you can paste your html email signature once you do that hit okay Look at that, it's beautiful. Hit save. Now you're almost ready to rock and roll using webmail from cPanel, lightning fast in your browser, but make life easy. Make yourself a little shortcut here in your little shortcut bar, your little toolbar up there. Easy enough to do when you're on the page that you like. For me, it's right there in the beginning of my inbox in round cube. See, you can see the testing and the formatting I did for you guys. I, uh, I do work for you, I try to help you out. So if you think this video helps, Go ahead, hit the uh, like, subscribe, and share, of course. But there's also that super thanks button. And uh, you could make my day with as little as like $1.99. But anyway, here's how you make your bookmark. I'm in Chrome. It's pretty similar for all browsers. I uh, already have it there. So you, when you hit that button, it's going to make it a little star that you bookmarked it. You bookmarked it somewhere. It could be in your bookmark folders. Or it could be up here in your shortcut bar. And that's what I like. See, it's in my bookmarks bar. Done. 
And then I changed the name on it. And the name I changed it to was Ryan at sillyreviews.com. It fits. It's always tough to manage your space up here in the bookmarks bar. But that's it. If you have any other questions about how to get you know, more efficient with your email when you're at your computer, your desktop, your laptop, and you think I can help you, feel free to, to ask in the comments and I'll, I will do my best. I reply, I'd say over 15 plus years, I've replied to 99% of the comments that have ever been written. So it's a good chance you'll hear back from me and I appreciate you watching. I hope this was helpful. Go ahead, get efficient, start sending those emails out. My name is Ryan for Silly Reviews and I thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Ryan here. Silly Reviews. Silly Reviews.